Hey you guys, it's Laura Godwin here. How are you? This is so much fun. All right. Well, I am super excited to be here. My name again is Laura Godwin. I am Superstar Director and Sensei Mama to Team Southern Accents. And I am, oh my gosh, I'm just crazy excited to be here with you guys. Um, and all of these rock stars, oh my gosh, this is the most fun event ever. Yeah, so um, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about myself, and then I'm going to dive in hard and deep to our amazing training stuff about how to earn the incentive trip. I'm so excited um, about what I have to tell you, and I'm crazy passionate about it, and I have so much to cover and so many ideas, so I'm going to um, really try to squeeze in a whole bunch into just a little bit of time. So um, a little bit about me. Um, I am married to Marcus for 13 years. Crazy, right? Um, I call him my big handsome, and then I am mama to Luke, my little handsome, 10 years old. Oh my gosh, time flies, right? But um, because of Cincy, we get to homeschool, and when we're not homeschooling, uh, my little man plays golf and baseball, and we're super active in church. My husband um, teaches Sunday school. I sing. Um, I even help teach Awanas. Um, I don't know if any of you guys know what that is, but it's really fun kids program. Um, and we have, let's see, we have fur kids. I have the mouthy cat Mordecai <laughs> and um, Gus is our miniature schnauzer. So um, we stay really busy. We work hard at Cincy and Cincy has been really good for our family. Um, really good to us. Um, anyway, I've earned every fall incentive trip. And uh, since I started in 2009, uh, sorry, and um, my favorite trip was Hawaii. Um, I'd love to know what your favorite trip was because I hear so many different people say that their favorite trip was this or their favorite trip was that. And um, I'd love to know what yours um, was. So leave your favorite trip in the comments. I would love to know. Um, but yeah, so I'm here to chat with you um, today about how to be uh, brand yourself and really go above and beyond. I'm talking about more than a t-shirt, more than a hat or a button or even a sticker that you put on your car. I'm talking about branding yourself big time, okay? And it's far more than just something that you can put on each morning. But if you do it right, I am absolutely confident that these ideas will help you earn this trip and maybe even double and triple your income. That's exciting, right? Okay, so um, I want you to take a minute and think about those times when maybe you and a friend or a coworker or even a family member have been sitting around and you've been talking about um, a product, maybe makeup or hairspray or a crock pot, um, or maybe you've been talking about a store um, or maybe just a brand, okay? So you've been talking about it and there's probably a few things um, that started coming out about each one of the products that you were talking about. And um, I'm going to guess that probably one product kind of rose to the top in your conversation, right? And probably the thing that set it apart from all the other products that you had tried in that, that category or maybe all the other stores that you had gone to um, was the performance and the appearance and, and maybe even like the experience that you had whenever you were getting it or using it, right? Or um, something else that probably made it really uh, come to the top is the convenience aspect of it as well, right? Okay, so I want you to imagine this. Imagine that today, maybe even right now, one of your customers is sitting with her coworkers, with her friends, or with even family members, but she is sitting at a table and she's talking about you. <laughs> Imagine what she would say. Imagine if there were maybe one other person at the table that had a different Scentsy girl that she bought Scentsy from, or maybe someone else at the table that got their wax from like a convenience store. Imagine the conversation that would be going down about you. Okay, now, the point is, is that hopefully something is being said about me and about you at these moments that we know happen, but hopefully something's being said that's going to, number one, create a, cr a proud customer moment. I mean, I want my customers to think, 
Wow, Laura is the best, and I have so much to talk about because Laura goes above and beyond for me, and when they talk about me, I want them to be excited, passionate, and I want them to feel proud to be my customer. But the other thing that I want to happen, and I think if you're like me, you probably want this too, the other thing I want to happen is I want them to say something about me that makes everyone else at that table want to shop with me. I want to be their sensei girl too. And I hope that something that my customer says will make everyone at that table think, ooh, I'm not going to get my wax from the convenience store anymore. I'm going to shop with her. You get what I'm saying? So today I'm going to share with you a whole bunch of ideas to help you create not just a t-shirt or a hat or something that you put on your car. I really want to give you some ideas to help you take your branding from good to great. So, when I think about these random conversations that I know are happening all across town, I want them to, I, I want to inspire myself to just take it from good to great. So, I'm going to share some things with you. So, when we are giving our samples away, a lot of us don't have a lot of excitement around samples I actually do, and I'm going to share with you um, a few of my samples because I'm, I'm crazy passionate about them. But I'm known as the Sample Queen. My customers call me that, um, and that is a very proud title that I, <laughs> that I wear with a lot of excitement because I'm like, yes, I want to be known as the Sample Queen. But um, my customers love my samples, and I really use this um, as a way to brand myself during my follow-up. So I'll say something to my customers like, yay, be watching the big brown truck. Today's the day. Your Scentsy's coming in. Coming in and then I'll tell them oh and also be watching your mailbox for my absolutely awesome Scentsy thank you package and they'll be like oh that's cool okay I will and so it kind of gives me a way to kind of create excitement about them being one of my customers um, I usually give about five percent of their order back to them in the form of free product samples so if they spend 60 I'm going to make sure that my thank you package samples are valued at at least three dollars or more so about five percent of what they spend I'm going to turn it right back into samples for them um, and I'm going to make samples of things that they don't normally splurge on things that would feel more like a treat for them if they're always buying wax then my samples might be of something in the body line or um, maybe a travel scent or um, essential oil or something like that I hope that makes sense okay so at that lunch table when my name comes up I want my Scentsy customer to go she is so awesome that she sends us thank you packages that has tons of samples in it. And I want everybody that's sitting at that table to want my samples. Okay, so um, I also, another idea, I love my VIP page. And many of you guys have heard about the VIP page. Many of you guys have them, but I want at that table for my customer who's discussing me, I want her to say, wow, my Scentsy girl, Laura, has a VIP page, and she always lets us know ahead of time when there's going to be new products. She lets us know when the specials come out. She really keeps us in the know. I mean, that's what people want, right? Great communication. So that's a way that you could really step up your game um, as far as branding yourself. All right, another idea. Um, two years ago, my son and I were really trying to earn the Disney incentive trip. Were you guys on that trip? Oh my gosh, it was it was so amazing. Um, so we were in the process of trying to earn the trip. I think it was like the end of either September, maybe the beginning of September or end of September, and we weren't doing so hot. Just being honest, I didn't see it happening. So um, I took a risk, jumped to my comfort zone. I bought 200 postcards. And I created stickers that said something like, you know, my son and I are trying to earn the Disney trip and every purchase gets us closer. And I took a picture of us making those postcards up and um, stamping them and putting stamps on them. And I took a picture of it. I plastered it all over social media, letting everybody know that you know, uh, <laughs> I was making him work with me. No, you know, I just let him know that he was part of this and what we were working towards. And so the postcards went out and before too long, I started getting texts and emails saying, oh my gosh, are you still collecting orders for the trip? Um, I have an order for you. Or I even had some people say, wow, I was talking about your trip to one of my coworkers and she has an order for you too. Is that okay? And I'm like, yes, yes, yes. 
keep doing this over and over, you know? So just letting them know why we're selling goes way far. We're not just trying to collect orders. We're trying to do this or do that. And now we can use the trip. I mean, letting them know what we're in this for will go so much further, creating that relationship with them. And it'll also help you connect with them on more of an emotional level that will make them want to get in on this journey with you. Okay, so maybe you could print off some notes um, that just, you know, maybe generic notes um, and print it off and maybe it could just say, thank you so much for your order. You just helped my family and I get closer to earning the 2018 incentive trip and put that with every order, every delivery, and that will go far at helping them connect with you and know why you're working it. Okay, so um, I don't know if you guys do fundraisers. I love fundraisers. Um, I call myself fundraiser queen. Um, fundraisers are becoming the heartbeat of my business, and oh my gosh, they are they're the heartbeat of my brand, too. I love fundraisers. They really, really speak to my heart, and people know that I love to do fundraisers. They know that I love to give back, and it makes them feel good about buying from me because they know that, you know, I have a heart to, to see organizations and families, um, you know, do well, and they know that I give... Um, a portion of my paycheck back to different things that are going on. Fundraisers are amazing. Um, but imagine that that is brought up at the table. So imagine that my customer says, oh, and she does fundraisers all the time for churches and people in need. That would maybe be a game changer at making people feel like that shopping with me was a good thing, right? Because we all love to be a part of somebody that gives back. And we all love to be a part of a company and an organization that has a, an outreach and um, has others in mind at the end of the day, right? Okay, so um, one last thing. I think that that's all that I have time for. Um, my son was two years old when I started selling Sensi, you guys. Golly, time flies. And we were, honestly, I won't go into it, but we were in very, very deep financial debt. Um, not because of anything that we could help, but just things, right? And uh, so my son was two. We were in debt real bad. Um, Sensi came along. I didn't have money to uh, you know, I couldn't afford a babysitter, just to be honest. My son was working all the time. I'm sorry, my husband was working all the time. And so, guess who tagged along with mom to like every home party and almost every event, every fundraiser, every church bazaar? He was in tow. It was crazy. Um, but we did it. We made it work. I would put blankets, like a pallet of blankets, in the corner of the living room if I was doing a home party or um, if it was a booth, I'd put blankets down. He'd have toys shoot. He would even take his naps in the booth. Um, it was absolutely precious. It was crazy then, but now I think it was really fun. <laughs> anyway, um, but you know what started to happen is every now and then when um, my mother-in-law might would keep my son for me and I would go do something without Luke, my customers would notice. <laughs> They wanted Luke. They would ask me about him. They would act sad because he wasn't there. And um, I honestly, I get a little bit emotional about it, but he's grown up with them, you guys. Um, they are part of his life. Um, and now he's old enough to, gosh, he's old enough to check them out. And I think he could run this business without me, honestly. But he's got, he has great customer service and he loves packaging up orders, and he wants to be the one to hand them their order. He loves it, and uh, he's part of my brand, um, not in a weird, like, cold way. He it just is, and our journey working Scentsy together is so much different than what a lot of Scentsy girls and Scentsy guys, and it's definitely different than the grocery store aisle that has the wax, right? Buying from Laura and Luke um, hopefully is a different experience than getting their wax from CVS or wherever they get it, right? So I use Luke. Um, I let him help my customers. He loves it. I use him on my videos. I use him on my logos, and I put his picture on my newsletters. I even do something... Um, once every couple of months, I send out a sample, and I'll say, this was Luke's pick. Um, I'll say, you know, this, my family voted this one, and I'll say Marcus and my son voted this one, the best of the new catalog, you know, and they love that. 
I'll even have customers say, well, what does Luke think of this? And it just warms my heart. It makes him feel absolutely special too, but it warms my heart to know that he's part of this with me. So cutting to the chase, remember that um, conversation that might happen at dinner or at lunch or, or somewhere about me? Do you think that maybe by me allowing my son to be part of this will help them talk about me in a different light? I'm different than a store aisle, right? I'm, I'm different than Amazon. We are a family and this is a family business and we don't always do it right and my son's not perfect. But you know what? Hopefully they see that we're on this journey together and they want to be part of it too. So use your fur kids. Use your niece, your nephew. Use anything that you can to help create your brand. Now, I want to give you some really fast, like these are going to come at you super fast, but I want to give you some um, ideas um, on some things that you might could do to make your branding come up a notch. So fast tips, ready? And these are more visual tips. So create an easy URL. My URL is lgodwin.sensi.us. And I started noticing that people didn't know how to spell Sensi. People didn't know how to spell Godwin. They thought it was Goodwin. And I did not want to leave anything to chance. And so I was like, my Sensi mama had a cool, um, I can't even remember what her website is right now, but she had a cool website. And I was like, I want one of those. So I went to GoDaddy and for $12 a year, I have needmoresense.com. Woo! Everybody knows how to spell that, hopefully. <laughs> And it just redirects. I didn't have to know how to be a website guru and genius and nothing like that. I just called GoDaddy and I was like, this is what I need. Make it happen. And they did. $12 a year. Needmoresense.com. You could create an easy URL too. Um, pick a theme for your, your happy mail. So um, I want to show you this. I'm not perfect, but I love having fun. And all of my happy mail is fun. I just use washi tape and stickers. Look at this. They love it. And you know what? Their husbands love it. And their kids love it. And I can't tell you how many times my customers will say, my son beat me to the mailbox because your package looks so cute. He ripped into it. And I just want to know, was there anything in it that um, I need to know about because he took it all? <laughs> I'm like, yes, you better go get those samples. But I love to make them smile and I'm wanting them to have an amazing experience at the mailbox because of my packages. So if I can draw a picture, and sometimes I let my son draw a picture, draw a picture, put some washi tape, have some fun with it. And you'll notice I have a little bit of a theme. I love um, to create flyers and labels with the same program so that I can have the same font, the same color theme. Um, you know, like, honestly, you may know of thousands of coffee stores, but when you think green mermaid, you think Starbucks. So I love when they see my colors, I want them to think Laura, something from Laura. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, so inside of this is um, going to be a catalog. And I'm dropping things. And I love my um, sticky business cards, I call them. And they have my picture on it. Why? Because I want to create an emotional... Attachment's the wrong word, but maybe. Maybe I want to create an attachment too. I don't know. Anyway, but I want my samples to go above and beyond. I want to use fonts that are fun and cool and um, different. This is an essential oil sample. I just dip this fabric flower in samples. Um, I don't know what you guys use, but my customers love these. Another essential oil sample, just something that makes them hopefully feel VIP and really special. Um, oh, you can't see this one. It's another essential oil sample. And I just use Avery labels. Go to Avery.com. They're free. And just ways that I brand myself. Give me passion flower, just a fabric flower dipped in wax, something special. Once again, sticking with my fonts and my colors. This is just... This is branding, maybe like 101, nothing super awesome, but maybe gives you some ideas on some things that you might could try to. Man, I'm almost out of time. Good grief. Okay, so one more fast tip. Create a slogan. Ah, I love this part. So, 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 if you are um, 
really good at watching uh, companies and marketing and all that kind of stuff. You notice that every few years they, they change slogans. And I really love that. And then, so one day I was uh, watching TV and I was like, hmm, I can create a slogan. Yeah, I mean like... I'm a CEO too. And so I created a slogan. And uh, so I'm going to give you some ideas on slogans that I don't use. And maybe you can get creative. Um, you guys are awesome. You'll probably come up with things way better than this. But um, somebody a long time ago came up with making dollars with cents. That could be your slogan. You could use that on the end of everything. You could even incorporate it into your flyers and uh, your samples and things like that. What about um, Sensi Lifer? Someone came up with that. It's pretty awesome, huh? Uh, raising businesses and babies. Again, I don't know who to give credit to be, because these are really awesome, but uh, you may come up with your own. What about Scentsy Queen? Or I Choose Scentsy. Or you could come up with something really, really cool and uh, very unique to you and your business and maybe where you live or your family, things like that. So I hope that these gives you um, just a few ideas. I have some homework for you because we're running out of time. Homework. Take your three favorite stores or three favorite brands and I want you to watch them and I want you to try to learn how to market yourself um, the same way they do but on a much smaller scale okay and you can you you will blow yourself you would just blow your own mind at some of the things that you yourself come up with and uh, it will be completely original and unique just to you and Everybody in the world will know that, hey, that's my Scentsy girl. And um, I sure hope that you grab some cool ideas, some things that um, in this chat you heard that you will wake up tomorrow and think, I'm doing that. I hope that you learn something. Um, you can find more of my ideas on my YouTube channel. Um, and I wish I'd have had more time to share more things. But I hope you grabbed one or two things that you could put into practice right now. So that you, we are all on that trip together. I want to see your face on that ship. And um, and remember that branding goes much, much more beyond. I don't even know if that was the correct way to say it. But way beyond a t-shirt or a hat or a button or something you put on your car, right? Then I want to let you know that one of the Scentsy celebrities is up next. And she is amazing, you guys. She is truly, in my mind, a Scentsy celebrity. She is one of Scentsy's newest superstar directors, and I'm just honored to be able to say that she's one of my friends. And um, I am crazy honored to introduce coming up next for you to learn from and for me to learn from my good friend, superstar director of Team B, Shauna Potter. I'm so excited, you guys. And she's going to be talking to us about how to create your own marketing material. And I adore her. All these speakers are amazing. I hope you learn lots. And I will chat with you soon. Bye for now.